Hi everyone, it's Polkadot Sada here, and welcome back to our educational video series. Today we walk into a new tutorial about Hydra DX, the next-gen decentralized exchange on Polkadot that aims to bring a ton of liquidity to the Polkadot ecosystem. And in this video today, we we'll have in-depth learning about stunning features on Hydra DX, such as trading, adding liquidity on a single pool, and cross-chain transferring. Let's check it out. First, let's find out what Hydro DX is and what the project is achieving. Hydro DX is a DeFi project designed with a desire to bring abundant liquidity to Polkadot. To do this one, the project team developed a tool called Hydro DX Omni Pool. This is an innovative automated market maker that unlocks efficiencies in swapping by combining all assets in a single trading pool. And with Hydro DX Omni Pool, users can provide liquidity only for the asset they want. That's all. The rest will be handled by Omni Pool. In the early phases, liquidity providers for selected assets will also be incentivized by high traded farms. This will be additional rewards on top of rewards from trading. Besides Hydro DX Omni Pool, there are a lot of interesting features under development and pipelines of a team currently, including the OTC desk, the liquidity mining, stable swap pool, DCA, and more to come. Well, you can access to the DAP of Hydro DX through their website, hydrodx.io, then click on Enter Omni Pool, or you can launch app directly via app.hydrodx.io trade. Don't forget to connect to our wallet to use the dApp. At present, HydroDX is supporting four wallets, including Talisman, SubWallet, Polkadot.js, and Encrypt. In this video, we'll experience the HydroDX dApp with SubWallet. In case you missed information, SubWallet just updated their version with a new friendly UI UX and more great functions. Currently, HydroDX is providing users with two types of trade. Swap, this is trading via using Omni Pool. Over the counter, OTC, this is trading with a specified price as known as peer to peer trading. And now we start first with the swap function. Currently, HydroDX is supporting trading for the following tokens DAI, HDX, USDT, WETH, IBTC, DOT, ZTG, WBTC, and LRNA. And in this video, we try to swap from DOT token to HDX token, the native token of the HydroDX protocol. For the first step, in the Pay With section, click on the arrow and select the icon of DOT. And in the You Get section, we we'll select the icon of HDX. Next up, enter the amount of DOT that we want to swap to HDX. And at this time, below we show the corresponding amount of HDX that we receive. And next up, just click the swap button to start trading. In order to make an ODC trading order, click on the place order button first. Then we'll see a pop-up that shows all the needed information for this order. And add offer. We need to choose the asset we want to order and then enter the amount. Similar to the you get side, we also need to choose the asset. And if you want to allow users to fill the order in parts smaller than the full amount, let's click Yes. Finally, click on the Place Order button to finish our OTC trading order. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the key point of HydroDX is Omni Pool, a tool that helps users to trade easily, quickly, conveniently, efficiently, and economically with single pools. So, all pools in HydroDX liquidity are currently single pools, and liquidity provider's benefit is receiving a 0.25% LB fee from the trading fee and other rewards from the high traded farms program. To start adding liquidity to HydroDX Omni Pool, we need to click on the Add Liquidity button and enter the amount we want. We receive an NFT that represents our liquidity position in that pool. And finally, click on the Mint Liquidity Position button to complete adding liquidity. In addition, we need to be aware that providing liquidity can help us earn the rewards from trading fees, but is also exposed to certain risks. When skinning a DeFi application, we always want to know the status of our wallets overall. 
That is the reason why we have the wallet feature, and this is the feature that allows us to check the available assets on the Hadoop DX network at the present, and also the liquidity positions on the Omni pool. And final is an extremely interesting feature named cross chain. This is a bridge that allows users to transfer assets from one network to another, and vice versa. Under the source chain, Hadoop DX supports networks including Polkadot, Akala, Statement, Interlay, Zeitgeist, Astar, and Hadoop DX. On the destination chain side, we have three networks: Hadoop DX, Akala, and Statement. And to proceed with the transfer, we need to specify the source chain and the destination chain we want. Then select the type of asset we want to transfer and enter the quantity. Finally, click on the transfer button to complete the process. It's so simple, right? And that's the video about how to DX the ocean of liquidity for Polkadot and how to use this great protocol. And if you really enjoyed the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to Polkadot Insider for more insightful videos. Bye. See you soon.